Hey everyone, DTA here with a continuation on Back to the Basics. And winter has come early, as you guys can see, with all the snow that we just got. And it is only the second day of winter, so it's going to be lovely. I was kind of joking around. Um, I do have the Stone Valley, Illinois, um, Seasons Geo, since that's basically where I live and uh, our climate. And I was kind of joking around how we got snow on the first day and how today and the rest of the week would be like 70 because that seems how uh, our um, climate is over here <laughs> so yeah and uh, as you can tell we got uh, some shelving on the flatbed here we're gonna be doing some shelving today and uh, putting it in the warehouse uh, this is gonna be just like a uh, miscellaneous job video uh yeah so adding some new stuff to the farm um trying to waste down the money a little bit and yeah and as you can tell we got a new pickup truck we traded in our scarrock scarrock for this and our service truck and this is going to be our primary truck on the farm now and yeah so we'll get this loaded back to the farm and let's do this. And uh, we barely wrapped up our harvest season. Uh, we got done about like 2200 on the last day of fall. And I'm really glad we got it in. Because uh, that was, I wasn't sure I was going to get all my crop in. Um, but luckily we got it all in. And all the fields are good. Uh, I did a little bit plowing. It's not the best. I haven't dealt with snow since uh, 17. This is my first time ever dealing with it in 19. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping uh, you guys are doing good and uh, your farms are holding up. Um, and oh yeah, this is a big one. Thank you guys so much for the 100 subscribers. Uh, I just looked at my page this morning and uh, man, I was shocked out of water. Um, that's crazy, and I just want to say thank you guys for everything, and, um, thank you for following my channel and, uh, keeping up with all my stuff. Um, but yeah, i just been posting on, uh, Facebook groups a lot recently, and, uh, trying to get my channel out there, and it looks like it did some work, and I'm really happy that, uh, people are actually following it. And just not thinking it's spam and everything, and that's really cool. And I just want to say uh, thank you guys so much for that. And yeah, I'm hoping to keep doing, bringing good content for you guys, and yeah, bringing uh, new stuff like we are doing today with uh, doing something completely new. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to change my farming tactics a little bit, um, like uh be self-efficient with things. We're not going to be relying on uh, the oh, what's it called? The buy everything silo. We're going to be doing everything from the shop and from the store. The only thing I need to look at is getting a new uh, a fuel station so we can put our own fuel in. But uh, we just arrived back to the the farmyard. Um, as you can tell, we got the man truck out there we got the salt spreader which I actually hooked up onto uh, the TTHD flatbed here and it worked pretty nice I mean it is kinda back heavy but I wish that salt spreader was a little bit lower that'd be cool if there was like a salt spreader attachment for the flatbed that'd be awesome because you see all these kinda styles of flatbed with uh, the big salter on the back in my area and probably all over the place in the US so as you can tell, we got a new building set up for the seed, and uh, we got this for, this is just a truck shop, we got the old, got the old grain truck, and then the two semis in here. Yeah, we did some uh, organization on the farm, and uh, trying to make things right and uh like a good fit and I thought this would be a better fit for the seed uh, 
it's not turning on. Yeah, I thought this would be a better fit for the seed. Because it's bigger and more more space. So, hop in this guy, pull it out. I only like using the forklift for uh, getting up high. <laughs> I just use the, the skitter for the rest. So, hop in this. We'll bring uh, the shelving unit over a little bit. And I will uh, also run into the shop and I can uh, show you what I'm working on currently in the shop after we get uh, this situated. Uh, maybe place it right here. See how this works out. I know it's crooked. Yeah. Oh, okay, so. Ooh, where you got, like, right on money. I didn't know you had to be in it <laughs> for the whole time. Alright, so we got that set up. Went pretty good. Might get, like, a little section of fill in right here. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Go ahead and push this against the... Uh... Actually, wait, hold on. Make sure it's all the way against the wall. I love this mod, but one thing I wish was different is how easy it is to tip it. I wish you could like bolt it in the ground or something like that. All right, the uh, this is going all over the place. Yeah, so we'll just need something to fill that in real quick. Maybe the, the smallest one. And we'll get these offloaded. I don't know what is uh, up with the skid steer right now. It is acting really weird. Alright, it's acting very sluggish, so I don't know what the issue with that is. Now we'll get this unstrapped real quick. Get this put back in the shop here. Actually, we might leave that the way it is, to be honest. We'll just put this right here. Yeah, we might leave that corner empty. Yeah, I think that's probably the best. There we go. I'm gonna uh, slap this last shelf over here. I don't know why it's doing this. Has anyone else had any problems with this? like sliding and acting very sluggish. I know in one of my uh, groups on Facebook it showed the truck doing this. 
Like it's not letting me get over. All right, this is really weird. We'll get the last shelf put in, and then uh, hop in the shop and maybe do some maintenance and uh, check everything out. Set down or try to set it down. Yeah, this thing's messed up <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Sweet. So we almost got this set up. I think we may only need oh, need about maybe one to two more, and then everything should be great. Let me slide this over a little bit. Yeah, maybe fits a little one right there. Sweet, so we got the the shelves all good now. So I can put some seed in there eventually. I'll hop in here, get this brought in. Get the lights turned off and the doors closed. So and uh, we'll take a walk over to the shop real fast, and I can uh, show you, show you guys what I'm working on here. Um, yeah, we got the 8240 in shop. Uh, just going over everything, making sure it's running right after the the big corn harvest we just uh, took in. Uh, we already got the Draper header looked at and washed and put back for storage uh, until next harvest season because we're going to be doing uh, soybeans now because since, okay, we did four and six, uh, four and six was corn, so uh, next season it's going to be soybeans, five is going to be soybeans, and uh, two will be corn. So we'll have a big corn harvest as well. And field three, that's our hay field. And field nine, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I uh, might just wait on that. But yeah, we're going over things on the 8240. I just uh, repainted it and uh, repaired it. Um, so all we need to do is just wash it and put it away. And then the T9 will be brought over here so we can uh, repaint and repair it. So we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, give her a quick wash. Uh, since we have a washer inside now, give her a quick wash and uh, make sure everything's good. Get up here nice and good. Gotta clean out all the augers. Don't want anything like blocking and clumping up and just that'll be a disaster. Uh, I'll come down, get the undercarriage a little bit, get the header.
And it seemed like a perfect fit in here too, and it's really good. All right, it's really good looking in here too. All right, we'll get this opened up and uh, get her hauled out. And fold her up. Here we go. We'll just keep it hooked up to the corn header for now. I should have plowed a better way into the <laughs> into the shop here. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh okay. I thought that was snow for a second. So we get this pulled in. And then uh Grab another piece of machinery. I don't know, I think every sh everything should be good in here. Yeah, everything's good in here. Let's park it. Yeah, let's take a walk back to the shop real fast. And then hop in the T9 and uh, get that moved over. I uh, apologize if this is a slow episode for you guys. Um, there's not really much to do. As you can tell, it's winter. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to do my best. So. I'll get the T9 brought over to the big wing. So I can do work on it. Go ahead and close the door so we don't let the heat out. Actually, we'll bring a... Bring the... This over. We'll get it cleaned up while it's in here. Put it in this bay, clean it. And then bring it back over to the next bay and uh, do some repairs on it. That's what I should have done. <laughs> Get her nice and clean. But yeah, I'm uh, hoping you guys are ha enjoying watching this. Hopefully. <laughs> I know it's very, very slow. Um, yeah, but hope then uh, the next video will be uh, cultivating. We'll be hopefully breaking ground by then. So that will be really nice to see. Um, yeah, I can't wait for that. Oh, there. Right. We'll clean this up while we're here and while we have it out. Get the rims. Even though I love dirty machinery, I like to have it clean and put back for storage and then uh, get dirty once again next season. I just like having uh, things kind of clean and tidy for uh, winter season. Make sure we do our repairs and maintenance, all that. Even though I know you guys love dirty machinery and all about that, but I mean, gotta have clean machinery at some point, right? <laughs> Alright, we'll go over here. We'll um, repair it. And then uh, repaint it. Sweet, so condition's good. And yeah, it looks pretty well. So we'll get this uh, headed over to shop, or not the shop, uh, storage. So yeah, we'll get this brought over. Oh, it's a bumpy ride. Yeah, and um, 
hopefully we'll be seeing some uh, cattle this upcoming spring. That'll be good. Yeah, it'll be a fun adventure. I know everything's kind of thrown in here. I was freaking out because I saw snow coming on the ground, so I just started throwing stuff everywhere. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we got this awesome T6 here. We'll be using it for cattle, and I can't wait for that. Make sure that's closed. And then we'll get the the flatbed moved over and maintenance. We don't have to worry about the man truck for now. We'll get that eventually. So actually we're going to be bringing in a semi, get him all fixed up. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything like any future projects on the farm as well. Um, yeah. Alright, we'll get this guy cleaned up real fast. Yeah, and uh, after we uh, get these two fixed, I might just call it there. Well, we're about at that time already. Um, yeah, I apologize if the video is kind of slow and not what it's supposed to be, but I mean, I mean, <laughs> there's not much to do. I was trying to think of something to do because I wanted to uh, uh, bring a video to you guys really bad. So, there. And, uh, kind of want to like to celebrate the 100 subscribers in some way also and yeah thank you guys so much for that I can't do this cut without you guys and yeah I'm really happy to see where things are going and I hope it just continues to grow and everyone or more people pick up on this and yeah I can't wait to see what this will turn into So we'll hop in this guy, I get pulled out. The thing about uh, detinting, detinting the windows, because I like going in uh, first person a lot, and it's really hard to see with these tint windows, especially when it's like closer to evening, or uh, when it's dark out, you can't see crap. So I'll get this pulled in. Yeah, she has a lot of hours on her already. And I know you guys are saying, no, that's nothing. I mean, I just, I literally just started this map, so. <laughs> this is a first go through. Um, repair and repaint. So, yeah, this is going to probably do it for this video, you guys. Um. I apologize once again if it's not what you've wanted to see. I mean, I wanted to bring you guys something. Uh, just winter projects, basically. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. And continue to stay around and continue watching my stuff. And uh, yeah, please spread the word about the channel. And yeah, can't wait to uh, see you guys in the next video and is there anything I can do for you guys I'll do it and yeah just be uh, 
really like to hear some feedback as well. And hope you guys have a great day or night, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.